I'm Megan Kluth for CN100, and we're at Jackie Robinson Park on Chicago's South Side for part two of a charity weekend for Theo and Paul Epstein's A Foundation to be Named Later. Today is the second annual Urban Baseball Classic. We're going to catch up with the Epsteins, the coaches, and some players to see how this charity impacts your community. We're here for the second annual Urban Baseball Classic, where for the second year in a row we brought a Little League team from uh, Boston out to compete against the Jackie Robinson West team from Chicago. We've known the Boston team for a long time. The foundation to be named later has been proud to support them, um, help them financially in order to travel to tournaments, get supplies. And when we came to Chicago and uh, started doing foundation work here, we immediately got hooked up with the Jackie Robinson League. It's, there's a lot of similarities between the programs, they're both outstanding. How did you guys start the Jackie Robinson Foundation? Actually, my dad started it in 1971. Uh, he passed away in 2005, and my brother and I kept the league going. This is our 43rd year, and uh, we're really excited about it. It's kind of generated a great tradition, and uh, we're really excited about today. Baseball is not played a lot in the inner city, and it's really important to develop it and help out people with what they do with, with both of these leagues. But I think the other thing is that both leagues are emphasized so strongly the educational aspect. The, the Astros from Boston have somewhere between 40 and 60 kids playing in college. And there aren't many minorities playing college baseball in this country, and it's really important. And the same thing is developing here. So it's a, it's a really a, a very important emerging scenario. How many of your players have you seen gone to college? Oh, we have numerous. Even this year, we had um, two kids I coached. Um, Ronnell Coleman from Vanderbilt is in the College World Series. Corey Ray from Louisville is in the College World Series. So it's numerous kids, I'm, I'm going to say um, over 70, over 75, 80%. It's been great. We just had an event a couple of, couple of weeks ago. We had 22 out of our 23 high school seniors get full scholarships to college. The other thing, too, is we've raised significant resources for these young folks. And our young folks, again, the SAT, MCAS, all the college preparation that they need. So we're seeing more folks being successful off the field as well as being successful on the field. So you're in town from Boston for the weekend. It's your first time in Chicago. What are you liking so far? It looks just like Boston. It's very similar. So I feel like just like I'm home. Going to Wrigley on Sunday? Yeah, so it's my first time there, too. And we'll have a lot of fun. How does this event impact your community? both Boston and Chicago. I'm going to say how you can meet other towns, see how it is compared to your own city, and how can you help others um, as well you're doing the same, same place as you. It's just something to get people together, keep them off the streets out of trouble. Last year, there were two plays made in the infield, one by each team, that better than what you, you often see on a Saturday afternoon in a major league game. So the quality of baseball is tremendous. Who's going to win today? We are. Of course, us. And of course us. This is the time I'd like to point out that we did win last year and we <laughs> intend to defend our title. You guys both seem pretty confident. Are you going to say some stuff out to each other on the field? It's part of the game. You know what, just looking at the weather, all this rain in Chicago, we already got a win. But as far as what happens on the field, yeah, we're going we're gonna to welcome to Chicago. Your dreams? Do you guys want to go pro? Well, my dream is to break the pattern in my family, at least, at least go to college. This is my dream. Go to college, get a good education. If I make it pro, then. You know, it's the young folks. It's actually doing a game in the heart of the neighborhood, showing that great things happen in urban America. And you can come into the heart of the city and see great baseball. And I hope what that does, it changes the image and the trajectory of what people think of young folks. It's been a great day for baseball. We learned today that a foundation to be named later not only helps young players on and off the field succeed, but also helps the surrounding communities. For CN100, I'm Megan Kluth.